มาเป็นติเก็ตที่อันนะฮะ12 45ยังว่าอันนี้อันนี้แต่แต่ละคอยสื่อนะ
Oh, probably speedboat.
Like off the building on the south bank, it was built in the brutalist style of architecture. Prince Charles once described that building as looking like a nuclear power station. Uh, I don't think he's a massive fan of brutalism. However, despite the building that's arguably rather ugly exterior, inside it you will find three beautiful theatres. Uh, the main one of those being the Olympic Theatre in the Forest Studio. Uh, you can see loads of great shows there. Uh, often before they get a Western transfer, and at a much cheaper price. Uh, you can find all that Western product. Uh, coming up next on the right, you'll see a red brick building with white stripes, which, as you might be able to guess, was once owned by the company Oxo. Uh, the company that made a stock cube, it's still very popular today. Uh, this building was one actually meat storage warehouse, or OXO. And if you take a look at that tower at the top of the building, you might think that it spells out the company's name. Who made the argument that they had ordered a random set of geometrically shaped windows. One circle, one cross, and one more circle. And they got away with it. They the uh, personally, I think the judge of that case was in the pocket of big gravy. He definitely had stock. Company. And this one was designed by a man named Christopher Wren and completed in 1711. That actually made Christopher Wren the first architect of the Hall to see a very design through the Now every other architect of the building died before it was completed. Uh, the current St. Paul's that stands at 365 foot tall, that's one foot for every day of the year. And it was originally supposed to have a 60 foot and would have two and a half foot of day. You'll soon see what I mean by that. Uh, this is the Anchor 
It's one of the oldest pubs in London, and it's been a tavern or ale house on that spot for over 400 years. Uh, my colleague Jane believes it's haunted. She claims to see many spirits following the bar. Uh, but lots of famous people have drunk in there over the years. There's no problem with writers across the street. Uh, William Shakespeare drank in there until he was barred. Thank you. 